Uh, my name is Doug Fine, and uh, I am a hemp researcher, cannabis plant researcher for the last half decade or so. And uh, I really appreciate the work that the department and the legislature has done on hemp, looking at the worldwide picture. It's a relief, since I care about Oregon, to see uh, Oregon um, on the official level being comprised of the good guys, clearly people that are trying to do uh, the right thing, which is vital for Oregon to be a competitor in this fast-growing uh, world market. So what do I mean when I talk about the good guys? Um, I had a conversation with Kentucky's uh, Agriculture Commissioner James Comer uh, a few weeks ago and all he wanted to talk about was hemp. I mean, I study hemp as a job and you know after 45 minutes I'm going, I agree with you, Mr. You know, the Commissioner, I, uh, you know, I think it's going to be great for Kentucky and he just couldn't talk enough about uh, what he thinks it's going to do for the farmers in Kentucky. Um, so every state is going to take its own path um, uh, and its own route and has its own history. Um, and, and you guys here uh, have done a great job, but uh, hemp's time has come, and I think everybody in this room realizes it. So um, that segues for me into the, the first concrete uh, comment, as has been discussed. Uh, there needs to be an immediate legislative fix <laughs> on the 90% of the North American market today is this stuff right here. Um, it's, this, these are hemp hearts from the seed uh, that I feed to my six-year-old and four-year-old and myself every day. So, um, uh, by the way, a lot of people are, uh, here really care about hemp. We don't have to look all over the world um, in terms of hemp's return, and David Sieber and Hemp Shield being here now for decades as an Oregon company, um, that clearly cannot, a hemp seed oil product can clearly not be left out of it. This is what the market is. How big is a market um, in Canada? It's growing 24% annually. Um, the, world, the overall value of the seed side of it is going to exceed a billion dollars um, this year at the retail level. So uh, Canadian farmers are profiting to the tune of uh, $350 per acre. That's clear. Um, that's after expenses, um, all expenses. So you do the math. Uh, South Dakota State University said that South Dakota was looking at a good soy market this year in terms of old model cycles at $71 per acre profit. So uh, this is just bottom line economics. Oregon farmers uh, need to be competitive. Uh, so this is just the real reason in the ground. We can't wait one second more to, to let Oregon farmers grow seed. Um, moving on to just a couple of specific comments, and I'll follow up, Ron, with uh, written comments with specifics. Um, but I uh, think that, and thanks for Senator uh, Prozanski's leadership and uh, Ron and the department have really um, done a, a, a good solid job given the constraints that they had from the coal memo when they started this thing. But the specifics of my written comments, uh, generally in support of the regs, by the way, meant to say at the beginning, um, the specifics of the written comments are going to be one, uh, largely about tone, um, as David and others mentioned. We're in a different era now than when even these regs were uh, uh, conceived. We have changes in Oregon passed by the voters in Measure 91 in this election this past November that have changed the situation on the ground here in Oregon since this work has begun. So um, the overall tone of fear of the cannabis plant um, has to be replaced by acknowledgement of the fact that uh, hemp is a major industrial product that is good for Oregon. The specifics that come to mind, if you notice my 21st century notepad here, um, section 2, F, A, and B are just the ones that I'll reference right now. Um, uh, discretion at any time passed along to law enforcement is one of them. The next one is uh, inspections at will. Uh, Kentucky, I just uh, registered for a project in Kentucky. It's a maximum of two inspections per year with some notice. There's, there's no reason for the belligerent, fearful tone. Times have changed. Guess what? Even if what's never happened in Canada's 16-year industry, namely a industrial hemp 
crop testing too high in THC. Um, if that happens, guess what? That's legal here in Oregon too. Um, and as for being in uh, uh, sync with federal law, I actually think that's very important. And I do think that these regs are, in light of Farm Bill uh, changes, provided that farmers have a reasonable resource um, for acquiring seeds in the short interim period before we have full federal commercial legalization, which hopefully is going to happen very soon um, in the next Congress. While we are still at the situation where only research projects are legal federally, um, DEA is issuing permits as long as they're done right, as long as they're in sync with that Farm Bill provision. I won't get into the specifics now, but basically the project has to be associated with the State Agriculture Department and or an institution of higher learning. It'd be for, res be for research only. I also want to point out that Kentucky interprets sales and marketing as research too. Every Kentucky piece of hemp, every fiber and every seed had a buyer this year for the farmers and this year under research. So you're fine on the federal side to sell it as sales research. Um, and in conclusion, I guess I just want to say that, uh, I don't know, I'm wearing a homemade hemp shirt today. Hemp triumphs um, in the economy and in the marketplace around the world. I've seen harvests this year in Slovenia where the government sent uh, a, a government peasant ban in traditional medieval costume to bless the harvest. We recognize how important this crop is uh, to humanity, but speaking as someone who cares about Oregon a lot, um, I really want to see farmers launch. Right, there's no time to waste. Kentucky and Colorado are already a year or two ahead, and, and it doesn't, it's a big enough growth curve and a big enough market when you're talking about double-digit growth. Plenty of time for Oregon to uh, be the leader that it should be in this industry, but it needs to uh, start right from season number one. And uh, as federal law changes, we'll look back on these hearings and laugh that we're even talking about these, these, these coal memo items. Um, the reality is hemp is a great thing for Oregon. Thank you.